What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to another Football Manager 2019 video and today we are going to be covering the top 5 teams to manage in FM19. Hopefully you do enjoy this video. Go check out the other videos we've been uploading as of late on the channel. Hopefully you enjoy and well without further ado let's get into this. So coming in guys at number 5 we have a team that have been in the global spotlight lately. LA Galaxy. They finished rock bottom of the MLS in 2017, but Zlatan, he's entered the building, hasn't he? The Swedish giant of a man. I, I'm just going to leave this on screen whilst I talk about this team, but they're a great team, LA Galaxy. A team with a little bit of history in MLS, but such a disappointing season last year. They've got rid of the likes of Ashley Cole. He has left the building, and now Zlatan and the DeSantos brothers lead the line of course Alessandrini as well another player who has been showing some great support work from the midfield I will say now with LA Galaxy first season you're gonna have a lot of players on short-term contracts and a lot of aging players this is a team going through transitions but if you saw he wants to have some fun with Zlatan Ibrahimovic leading your line you want to try something a little bit different and quirky for your first FM19 save and you're willing to have the patience to get around and well get your head around the MLS rules. This, my friends, is the save for you. Coming in at number four, guys, we have Rangers. Yes, a team who last season finished second in the SPL. Obviously, Steven Gerrard has taken over. It's time to hijack his groundwork. And start your own legacy. A team who, when you look at their profile, it looks very odd, obviously, with all their promotions back to the big time in Scotland. But, well, you'd have to say with Brendan Rodgers' Celtic just looking like an in, well, unstoppable force in Scotland, it's going to be a challenge. Back-to-back -back third places have kind of cemented Rangers back in the big time. But the expectations of, well, the board and the fans is ultimately to challenge Celtic in the coming years. You have some great players at your disposal, though. Let's talk about them. Connor Goldson, fantastic centre-back, 24 years old, a player to build around. And, well, when it comes to players in the final third, there's one man to talk about, Alfredo Morelos, the Colombian speedster, a very, very talented player and a player who should be grabbing goals at this level. But really, what is the aim here? I think it's got to be to get to the Europa League group stage first season, just like Rangers have in real life. And in the next few years, get back to being a number one dog. It needs to be Rangers at the top once more. You look at their history, they've had the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. And maybe, as I said, you can kind of take over Steven Gerrard's groundwork, which he's been highly praised for in the summer. Mould this team to your own play style and challenge to be once more top dog in Scotland. Coming in at number three, guys, today we have Leon. Yes, a team who, let's be honest, they have history. They went through a run of, well, many league earned titles in a row. But it's been 10 years since that last title. Why am I recommending this side? Let me tell you now. Why am I recommending them? This squad has an average age of 23. They have star players. They have very good players as well, might I add here. We have Fakir, a player who was linked all over the place in the summer. He stays for now. The French international, only 23. Memphis Depay, what a breakthrough season he had. A player who, obviously, when he left Manchester United, some question marks over his actual quality. Was he just a bit of a, you know, a player who could do it in a slightly smaller league over in Holland? Was he going to be able to make that transition? He didn't do it in the Premier League. He has nailed down the, well, a position in this side in France. Besides those, some great players as well. Uh, the, the the young talent here in this side is just absolutely incredible. I'm going to apolog apologise for my French pronunciations now, but I'm going to go with Ura here. 18 years old, one of the best centre mids in world football. I'd be amazed if this guy isn't even better, to be honest, in FM19 than he is currently in FM18 because he is that good. Besides this guy, they've also got Guiri, who I believe, if we have a look, is in the reserve team here. He's a player who I think is going to be exceptional this year. A very talented striker. And, well, there's lots of new signings to be excited for as well in this side. Of course, Moussa Dembele signed from Celtic. They also brought in Denea, who is another fantastically talented player. And Terrier, uh, who, again, you know, these are players with some real... Uh, you know, buzz around them. You're going to have money to burn at the start of your save. Loads of money at your disposal. A crazy young side. 
That doesn't mean it's going to be easy to challenge PSG and well Monaco because you're not going to have that spending power. But you've got the talent. If you're smart with your money to start the save, if you can be smart in terms of either developing the youngsters at your disposal or flogging them on, getting in more plays, you know, wheeling and dealing, this could be a good save for you. Champions League first season is also, I think, a big plus, something to be interested in. See how far you can do in that. Can you challenge at the top? Uh, personally, if I wasn't doing my Bayer Leverkusen save to start the beta, I think I'd be going with Leon because they are a very, very exciting project. Coming in at number two, guys, we have Palmer. Yes, some of you are going to be familiar with this team in the football manager sphere. Endorsed by Dr. Benji himself, finally back in Syria after three back-to-back -back promotions. They are back in the big time of Palmer. And, well, you have got a challenge ahead of you, let me tell you that right now. Experienced is the word I'd use to describe this squad. Jovino, probably the pick of the bunch in terms of real talent. A, a player who has had his day, he's in his 30s, a short-term option maybe in the final third, but you're not going to be able to rely on him as a mainstay in your squad for years to come. Besides him, though, they've got other players as well. Lots of players who uh, are very, very good. Biabiani here, a player who is very good in Football Manager. Will he be this good next year? I'm not entirely sure. He's going to be a year older. And, uh, well, there's a lot for him to prove. Bruno Alves as well, a name that might jump out as an experienced name in this side. Palmer, I don't want to say they're a retirement home. But they probably need to get some young blood in. You are a manager who's going to have to try and do that. You know, experience has served them well getting up through the leagues. But, uh, well, Serie A is a whole beast in itself that's very, very different. The best players here at this club, they, they are the older players. You kind of sort by ability here. Lots of players entering their early 30s. Some low knees as well that you're kind of reliant on. And with limited money and no kind of young players really of serious note... Generating money and transfer funds to really be flexible in the market is going to be tricky. You're going to have to be smart, but ultimately that's thinking longer term. Shorter term, it's not going to be easy to maintain Serie A status this year, but if you can do it, hopefully you can then build a platform going forward. And if you want to return, I want to say return a fallen giant to glory, but they've already been returned to glory. You need to take them that one step further, somewhere where they've not been in many, many years. And that is to the European big time. Look at this trophy cabinet. It deserves a few more trophies. Can you bring them to Palmer? Why not try and find out? So guys, coming in at number one, a team who maybe you predicted, maybe you didn't, but a team that if you've never considered managing this year, hopefully by the end of this, you're going to have your mind changed because I think this is a very attractive save. It's Malaga playing in, you can see here, the Segunda Division in Spain. They have been relegated last season, which is tragic when you consider that in 2013, they were almost in the Champions League semi-finals. They were knocked out by Borussia Dortmund 3-2, I believe it was. And they were so close yet so far to that semi-final. And that was just five years ago. How football can change. But Malaga, yes, relegated to the second tier, in a shock season. I don't know if there's any other way to describe this. I will say now they have got some fantastic hot prospects. Javi on Tivaros is definitely the pick of the bunch. A supremely talented winger who I think is going to be very good in Football Manager again this year despite their relegation. A player you can definitely build around. But the young talent here kind of goes beyond that. You look at it, Alex Muller, a player who, again, I think he'll be good in Football Manager as well this year. Um, he's still with Malaga. He's still developed. I think he played a little bit of first-team football last year. And these are players you can definitely build around for years to come. But ultimately, you look at this squad, you should be getting promoted. I want to say easily, but comfortably, I think is the best word to describe. You know, you don't have a big budget, but... I don't think you need a big budget with this team. Immediately, you're going to be fine. Can you get them back to the Champions League? I think that's the ultimate question here. First season, I'm not, I don't think you can say it's going to be a walkover necessarily because there are teams like Deportivo La Coruña who are going to cause you some problems. And also Las Palmas, other two teams that were relegated last year. Two of the maybe surprise teams relegated from, uh, well, Liga BBVA. Maybe they're going to be 
proving troublesome for you. But ultimately, I think of the teams relegated, Malaga are the, the more favoured one to bounce back immediately. You'd have a little bit of money to spend, but not necessarily a whole lot. It's maybe going to be difficult to keep hold of some of your better players. You know, players are going to have some reasonable value, but you've got some decent depth in this side, some young players for the future. If you're looking for a team who are going to produce some good young prospects through their youth facilities, have some good young players already established in their first team, Malaga might be that team for you. I'd be interested to know if anyone has been considering managing them um, prior to this video because I think they're a bit of a sleeper pick this year and I would strongly suggest them and I may well do them at some point this year. Just going to throw that out there right here and right now. Anyway, guys, that does wrap up this video for me of the top five teams to manage in FM19. There are some other teams that I almost put on this list. Maybe we'll do a part two to this. You know, five more teams that you could consider managing. If you'd like to see that, let me know down in the comments. Check out some of the other top fives that have been going up on the channel uh, prior to the FM19 beta. I, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a like on it. If you're new here, subscribe. And other than that, it is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.